Hi, everybody. The Stupid Genius 55 is doing a video. When is he doing it? Maybe, you know, right now. <laughs> I didn't really know how to open this video. I mean, like, introduce this video. Yeah, open this video is a good term. Um, I am doing an LP, a Let's Play, of Punch-Out for the Wii, the Wii version of Punch-Out. You know, not Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on the NES, uh, not Super Punch-Out on the Super Nintendo. This is a game. I think it came out in, like, 2008. And I didn't get it when it came out. I got it, like, much later, in 2011, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, we're about to start a new file here. And, well, <laughs> we, uh, I am starting a new file here. Technically, but you know what? You're following along. Um, we're going to be doing career mode. Uh, <coughs> today, we'll be doing uh, exhibition. Uh, sorry, career mode. Uh, it's called contender. That is, we just go... It's a career mode. We just go through all the opponents once. This is sort of the main... I guess you could say it's... If this, this is sort of the main um, chunk of the game, I suppose. The foundation of everything else. You know, if, <clears throat> if this game were a sandwich, this would be the ham, or the peanut butter, or whatever, or the turkey, or whatever you're putting, like, in between the, the slices. Not any of the condiments, it's the actual, you know, item. Anyway, this is Glass Joe. He is the, uh, being the first opponent, he's meant to be easy. Um, hit him in the stomach. When he comes in front of you, like I previously did for that, during that attack. And as you saw what I did, I was able to just, you know, keep on. I was able to just combo him. Actually, this game is all about dodging the opponent's attacks and comboing. That comboing. I don't know if that's a word. And I'm actually not doing that good a job of it right now, believe it or not. That's how easy he is. Um, as you can see, I'm doing the minor circuit. There are four opponents in this circuit, and... I actually uh, played this game. Uh, the first time I played it, I played this game. I actually got, I beat them all my first try. Actually, I remember when I got this game. I was coming home from a band trip. Uh, I was in junior high and I was uh, going on this band trip. I actually bought this on that. Uh, I was in Vancouver on said band trip and uh, I got it then. And I really uh, can't. I came home. Uh, on a Tuesday night, I remember that, because, and I was very late at night, and I was kind of, you know, not happy that I was having to go to school the next morning, but before I went to sleep, because I, I arrived back at my uh, city, my city back at about uh, 10 uh, p.m. or so, but I just, and uh, just so I know, I tend to go to bed about that early, I'm, I go to bed, I go to sleep pretty early, you know, um, I s Maybe not back then, but I know nowadays I do at least. Maybe I didn't back then, but I was probably I was should have gone to like to sleep at that time. But uh, considering I had to wake up pretty early the next day, but to go to school, but I just did it. Um, going through these points, it was so much fun. I remember. Uh, I really I used to play the hell out of this game. Um, so wait, I don't think I would have gotten it 2011. I think 2010 maybe. Uh, then that would be that was in like. Yeah, 2010, I think. If I was part of Club Nintendo, for all I know, I could have gotten, um, I could have gotten, uh, an expansion to this game called Doc Lewis's Punch Out. I shouldn't have gotten three stars there. All I need is one star. Once you stun Von Kaiser, you only need one star to knock him down. I shouldn't have gotten three stars there. Um, and as and as you can tell, you can get a star punch in this game by hitting them. We hit him in a certain area at a certain time. They get a certain punch. Ah, oh, I should have hit him uh, a bit differently. I'm doing bad at this opponent, I've noticed. <laughs> I usually, and well, actually, I guess I'm not doing bad, but I'm worse than I usually do. Um, usually all I do is I just get one star on him, then I, uh, you know, knock him, I stun him, and then I knock him down instantly. I'll do better during exhibition mode, I promise. That's what I'm going to actually be doing, some of the challenges they lay out for you. But yeah, I had this game on this when I came home from this band trip, and I don't usually like taking, you know, trips, so... 
Ah, I shouldn't have. Ah, I should have. I'm doing really bad at this guy. I actually got hit. I usually don't get hit at this guy. He actually... Oh my god. My goodness. He's actually hitting me. Ah, uh, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know this is a bit cliche, but let's play Curse, man. Let's play Curse. Actually, you know, then again, uh, the first time I did it, I wasn't this good. Uh, but that will... Here's the thing, I, these are really easy opponents. The later opponents get incredibly difficult, so compared to them, these guys are like a cakewalk. Uh, but as I said, I played the hell out of this game, so I kind of knew how to beat each opponent. Even like the later ones, which get... This game can actually get really, really difficult, but these guys, I beat them my first try. You're probably not going to be able to, you know, just instantly... Like nowadays, now I've done the later opponents, I can just instantly... These guys are just so easy, it's, um, embarrassing, but, uh, Disco Kid, um, but, uh, the first time I did it, I still beat it on my first try, so, uh, and I think the, the opponent after the minor circuit, I think I beat him on my first try as well, especially since I was getting home, well, I wasn't sleepy, I was, I, I still had quite a bit of energy, it's actually one of my better vaca uh, vacations I've had. Believe it or not, um, and I didn't expect it to be that way since I don't really have any, uh, I didn't, uh, well, actually that was a different school than the one I'm going to now, but, uh, I didn't have very, I had some acquaintances at that school, but I didn't really have any friends. Oh, uh, I was, what, well, um, if you're wondering why I just said, aw, there, it was kind of, I missed an opportunity, and I missed it again, I missed it again. Some star opportunities. I don't see why I'm missing these so much. I'm doing really bad on these opponents. I'm trying to get stars like I did recently, as you can see, twice. I should have punched him in the face when he kind of posed. So that way I would have. As you can see, when you mash the buttons when they're down, uh, the one and two buttons, they. Um, they... I should have waited till I got three stars so that way. I could have knocked him out. Because once, yeah, once you have three stars, it's an instant knockdown. Here it comes. I just, um, then again, I guess you probably want to wait till exhibition mode for me to, you know, completely destroy these opponents. During this normal career mode, I guess just surviving is really good enough. Actually, considering that little Mac, the main character here, is, um, considering that he's, you know, like, half of these opponents' size, you know, I guess it's pretty much impressive for him to just even go through the minor circuit, but <laughs> I'm treating him like he's a failure. He, if, uh, but if he gets anything less than that, I, I'm treating him like he's just an absolute failure. <laughs> uh, yikes. Uh, I guess, you know, since I'm not seeing in the game. Um. Unstoppable, kid. Unstoppable. You fight like a lion. A lion. As you can see, this is supposed to be our kind of quirky trainer. Um, Doc Lewis is his name. But he's not exact. Um, I don't know how popular he is. He seems to be decently popular. I don't really like him that much. But, oh, this is King Hippo, by the way. He's from this fictional location called the Hippo Islands. And he doesn't seem to speak a language. He just has... You know, ink, unlike the other opponents. If these opponents aren't from an English-speaking country, they'll have their sort of native... Well, sorry, all the opponents speak their kind of native language, and the other games, even if they weren't from an English-speaking country, they would be speaking English, or, you know, Japanese, or whatever language it was translated into. I know, in the, at least in the English version of this game, each, each opponent speaks in whatever native language, but I imagine that the other versions... They don't have different voice actors for every, all the different versions, I assume. Uh, as you can see, uh, you just hit him in the stomach when... You, sorry, you hit him in the face when he opens his mouth. And then you hit him in the stomach repeatedly. Or you can hit him in the face, too. Now, in this fight, you can do something that's pretty awesome, but it's actually impractical because um, it kind of helps King Hippo out a bit. You're, uh, I'll wait to show you the trick that you can do. I'll, I'll wait to show you it show it to you. I don't know if I was grammatically correct there. 
Oh, I have a chance to do it. If you hit him in the stomach when he does the hippo hug, as one person called it, he actually, he regains, uh, he actually, you know, you knock off his crown, which is kind of cool, but he gets a bunch of health back. So, actually, maybe he has less health now than he did before I knocked him. Usually, um, when I was less good at hit at King Hippo, I would uh, always. I th this would mean I wouldn't be able to knock him out in the first round, but um, here nowadays I'm able to do it fine. Uh, and this is admittedly a pretty awesome animation here, as he's falling down. And I hope the audio does not lag in the video. I hope my commentary doesn't lag. I mean, because if it does, it's not, I don't, I'm not using a very good capture card. It's kind of a downgrade from my earlier ones. And so sometimes the video kind of skips and my commentary is not on par with it. With the gameplay. So I hope that doesn't happen with this video. <sighs> then again, since I'm being somewhat ambiguous, at least in this video I've been somewhat ambiguous as to when certain things happen. Ooh boy, next circuit, let's do it. Hey, if only I could listen to the audio now right now. Can circuit. I? No, I cannot. I just moved the microphone there, and I should not have done that. This circuit, by the way, is my favorite background of any circuit ever. Um, Piston Hondo. Yes, he's not Piston Honda. They made him. They renamed it Hondo. I guess they were worried the Honda Corporation would be, would sue them. But you know, I mean, there have been other characters in fiction that have had the last name Honda that haven't been, you know, uh sued, and considering that Honda's last name, I don't think they can sue. sue. Uh, Japanese law. But yeah, this is my fa This circuit has my favorite opening and um, my favorite background of all the circuits for some reason. The blinking is a sign that he's about to attack. All these opponents leave kind of symbol signals that they're going to attack. By the way, this guy, I think I also might have beaten him on my first try, but, um. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah. Um, he's still, he's fairly easy as well. But he, I guess, I don't know if he's harder than King Hippo, but. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I got this game on a uh, vacation I took to Vancouver, as I told you. Um, what else about that vacation? I actually like that one, because I usually don't like vacations very much. I'm, maybe it's because I usually don't get very much alone time. Uh, I, I mean, there's not very much privacy, I guess would be a less, you know, a less cutesy word, I guess. I, I usually don't use cutesy terms for anything, like, you know, some people call dinner din-din. And that always, I always cringe whenever I hear people say that. Remember to punch him in the stomach when he gets in front of you? Yeah, calling privacy alone time for some reason. I just did that, but yeah, I usually don't get, I usually don't get very much, as much privacy as I would like to. I don't know. Then again, I guess, uh, um, so, for some reason that was actually really good. Um, I didn't do very much band playing on that one, oddly enough. I just played at this one, like, a seniors, um, center, old folks home. And Bear Hugger, this is the Canadian guy, which I am from as well. Um, they actually specify which city he was from, Sal Salmon Arm, uh, which is, I believe that's where Next Level, Next Level Games headquarters is. There. So I guess that's why he is named as such. Um, I did have, we did go through some like training and whatnot on that band trip though. Not in band anymore because I'm gonna, I don't really like it very much. This guy, 
this guy's a lot harder to get stars on, I've noticed. As you can tell, I'm trying, but I often fail at getting stars. I often don't... I need to be a lot more accurate in my timing here than the other ones. Also, if you hit this guy in the stomach, it won't do a thing. Uh, for some reason, I don't know if that's actually how accurate that is, if being, you know, fat makes your stomach... I mean, I'm not very... I'm, I'm pretty fat. I don't, I'm not very strong, but who knows. Then again, I've never really fought much, so who knows? Maybe I could take many blows. But yeah, it doesn't do anything to him for some reason. I'll have to do some research on how accurate that is. Actually, there's a specific place you can land a star. Uh, sorry. Yeah, land a star punch. Not not get a star punch, but land a star punch. When he does the bear hug thing, by the way, make sure you duck. And the bear hug thing is when he does, you know... The bear hug is when he, you know, claps his hands on you. And you can only... You can't dodge that to the left or the right. You have to duck. In the original Super Punch-Out in the arcade, by the way, that attack... He was the first opponent in the game. And, but that attack, he... That attack actually knocked you out in one hit, no matter how much health you had. Not, not, not knocked out... Not, it didn't knock you out. It knocked you down. So... He would only do it whenever he, uh got up, though, but still, for a first opponent to have a one-hit knockdown move, that was kind of weird to me. If you mash the minus button while during these inter- in-between rounds, you'll actually, you know, can regain health. Club Nintendo today. I should have taken his advice so I could have gotten Doc Lewis's Punch-Out, which is kind of a prequel to this, and you just fight Doc Lewis three times, at least, so, you know, at least it's not... Doesn't look like it'd be terribly exciting, but I wanted more of this game since there are only 13 opponents, mostly. I'm not going to spoil anything, but. Um. Not going to spoil anything, even though the spoiler I'm thinking of has probably already been spoiled to you. Ah, well, I thought doing a star punch would ensure you. Even though the bear hug doesn't knock you out in one, knock you down in one hit, it does seem to do a lot of damage in this game. So at least, at least they're still being somewhat consistent. <clears throat> and the Super Nintendo Super Punch Out, and it's not like a, a port of the art. So you know, Super Punch Out on the Super NES, if you're not familiar, it's not a just a, like a port of the arcade one. It's a new game entirely. It just has the same name. Um, that had bear hugger in it as well. And, what was I going to say? In that game, uh, that was the first one where his he would do his bear hug. He does it more frequently in this game and in the Super Nintendo Super Punch-Out, but it doesn't actually hit you in one hit, killing one hit. Although, keep in mind, in Super Punch-Out, both the arcade version and the Super Nintendo version, he was fought very early. He was fought early in the game, so he's a lot easier there than he was here. And considering how bad I'm doing, you know... Um, I think this is the fir first fight in the in this playthrough, this LP, where I actually had to take be taken to the second round with an opponent. Uh. For some reason, I always think of great. For some reason, I always feel that a uh, great tiger. He he acts like he's in a perfume commercial. I don't know why I always use that specific analogy, for lack of a better word, term, <laughs> but yeah, for some reason he seems like he should be in a perfume commercial. That's how he acts to me, in my mind. And actually, in that final frame of his intro, he looked pretty angry, at least. He looked a lot more threatening in the uh, uh, Mike Tyson's punch-out, or, you know, the NES punch-out, I guess I'll say, because, you know... There's also an alternate version called Punch-Out! Featuring Mr. Dream. As you can tell, when that gem of his, uh, when that, uh, emerald is top of his turban, um, what, when, it, when it flashes, that's when he's about to punch. Just like in the NES version, except it's much more notable here. Noticeable, I mean. 
It's actually kind of, technically, I guess you could say it's less notable since it happens less. No, no, it happens about the s with the same frequency in the other two, about approximately. Also, if you could, if you didn't notice, um, you have to dodge in a specific direction whenever he does an uppercut. That is actually important. <laughs> it's important to watch the his flashing head. I mean, the flashing uh, emerald or jewel or whatever it is in his turban when he uh, goes to the back and clones himself. Or makes an illusion of himself. I mean, he doesn't clone himself. Because, unless that is an actual real clone of himself. You know, some people find it uh, kind of... Are, kind of find it funny that the... W, the World Video Boxing Association would allow him in with, uh, you know, s with this, with these kind of magic powers. But then again, you know, as someone point, I, someone somewhere, I forget who, but pointed out, you know, with, with the, ex do you think they would have rules against um, magic powers in the ring? Uh, you know, because like that, that seems a bit outlandish, wouldn't it? More not as outland maybe not as outlandish the idea of someone actually having these magic powers, but who knows? And um, what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something, but I don't know what. Yeah, this guy is a lot less threatening than in the NES version. Which is got um, is he harder than he was in the NES version? I'm gonna have to say he's harder here than in the NES version, ironically. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, he was harder here than the NES version uh, from a gameplay standpoint. I think maybe just because he has a lot more, he has a much more diverse array of attacks. Then again, I think Great Tiger in the NES version might have taken me longer to beat. Maybe I don't know. Again, as I s again, he has a pretty repetitive in the NES version. He is pretty repetitive, so. Uh, in, ter in terms of how you beat him. Uh, for some reason, I kind of find it fun to punch these guys in the stomach and when you're supposed to punch them in the face. I don't know. It just, it's, it, I find it satisfying for some reason. Um, I also like how when you punch them, when you're about to knock them uh, down, they, like, fly. Like, they, like, jump. Uh, when you land that final punch, they don't just, you know, fall down. They, like, they, like, take, they, like, leap <laughs> to the other end of the, uh, the, the other corner, I guess I'll say. <sighs> um, I also love how his jewel, how the, uh, well, precious stone in his turban just happens to flash when he's about to punch. Like, what does he use? I actually have an idea. Maybe his punches. Maybe he uses psychic powers while he punches, and the psychic powers just happen to go in that turban. That maybe he could still get rid of the turban. But then again, what if that's what the rules mandate? Maybe the rules mandate that if you have psych if you have magic powers. You have to have a, a jewel somewhere on your person that would gleam, just to make it fair. <laughs> uh, you thought, you know. Because all these fighters seem to have pretty, you know, they, they seem to not... These guys don't seem to punch very quickly. They seem to leave a lot of indication that they're about to punch, which makes it more easier for the Mac. Although I've actually heard a theory that I subscribe to about this, and it's that because we see the game from Little Mac's point of view, he's got, uh, by the way, Don Flamenco here is much harder in this game than he was in the NES version. In the NES version, he was actually the first opponent in the lowest ranked in the minor circuit. Here he's the champion. He is much harder here. A lot, when he taunts you like this, you have to, uh, when he taunts you, you have to, um, you actually have to attack him, then he counterattacks, then you counterattack back. And but uh it seems a bit, you know, funny, and uh it can get kind of You can duck all these uh when he when he stands back and does says Uno dos tres, 
you can duck those, but if you, you but if you dodge left or right, depending on you know which way he punches, you'll actually get a star at the end. So, and there's one thing about this fight that makes it a bit of a hard one. But onto my theory about Little Mac. Uh, you see, Little Mac, you know, he's fighting very methodically. You know, he's very strategically. And I thought that perhaps he's looking for these um, movements. For instance, you know, in Doc Luce's punch, and I've seen videos of it, when you punch him a bunch of times, he says, oh, like the one I've taught... That that's the one I taught you, is what he says. And so it seems that that's some kind of trick. And I think Lil Mac is looking for signs that they're about to punch there. So basically, to Lil Mac, these look like very exaggerated... Um, punches, but to, say, the audience watching the boxing match, or to Don Flamenco himself, for example, they're not actually very, they're not very notable. Like, they don't see it. And it looks like this annoying, this fight's gonna get really annoying in the next round. <laughs> even though, if you guys are wondering what I'm dreading, <laughs> even though I didn't take a hit, um, it's actually kind of funny I didn't take a hit here, even though even though I took a hit in every other fight in the major circuit, and um, he's actually I actually had the hardest time on him the first time I tried him. So this is gonna get really annoying. See how his wig falls off. Yeah, you know what this means? Watch. I can't stun him now. Well, you can, but it takes quite a while. So I'm not going to get a technical knockout or a knockout here. I can almost guarantee you that. It, it, it goes away the next round, but... Sheesh, it's, this fight's going to get really frustrating. Maybe there are some techniques I need to know that I'm not using, but... Ugh. For some reason, punching in the stomach is just so satisfying. Uh, another th interesting thing is that attack. <coughs> um, he'll stand back somewhat, <coughs> and he'll it'll actually look like he's it actually looks like he's about to punch you, but um, he actually spends a bit of time. Basically, if you dodge too early, you'll you'll get you'll end up getting caught in the punch. <sighs> um, what else do I have to say about Don Flamenco? <clears throat> for some reason, whenever, uh... For some, I don't know what I was going to say. Sorry, I forgot. Um... If I, if I end up getting a technical knockout in this round, which I'm probably not, that would be awesome. Nope, I'm not. I didn't read what Doc Lewis said there. Um, and he's probably going to go down not too uh, slowly now, hopefully. I mean, he's not really hard. As I said, even though I was kind of dreading, even though the first time I fought him, I, I had a lot of difficulty with him. Like nowadays, you know, after after <laughs> seeing what the other opponents have done to me, you know how hard they are. He gets he's really easy compared to them. But I think bear well, bear hugger is when the game starts to. That's that's when I started to not beat the opponents on my first try. Don Flamenco is when I started to get really frustrated. <laughs> that's where the frustration started kicking in. Anyway, we have one more circuit. Left after this. Um, how much time have I spent so far? Um... Now, let's start this next 
circuit. Sorry, the video got kind of cut there. Hey, great work, Max. Now let's take down the next I think, yeah, I think this uh, sequence is, this montage is slightly different from the last one. <sighs> yeah. But, um... Now we're at the World Circuit. I don't like the background for the World Circuit as much as the Major Circuit. The Major Circuit is kind of my favorite of all of them. Aaron Ryan is not exactly... Let's just put it this way. He's not exactly sane. <laughs> Um, which is actually a bit of a theme for the first few opponents in the Major Circuit. It, it calms down a bit later on, but... Yeah, for the first few opponents... Not exactly. Considering that he's tickl he was tickling... Uh... Somebody who left him wait. It's not exactly what I'd call a nice person. Uh. With Aaron Ryan, you don't actually attack him... The same way you do the other opponents. In this one, you actually, uh... What you do is, instead of avoiding his punches, you actually attack him right before he's gonna hit you. Also, make sure you always use a star punch when he's stunned. He will avoid your hits if you st do anything... Like, if you star punch him when he's not stunned, he will avoid you. Will. I'm not... Like, there's no chance. I think there's no chance anyway. If there is a slight chance, you know. Actually, the attack where he stands, where he actually uh, ends up going right to the ropes and then uh, charges at you from there, I rarely hit him on that one. As you know, I usually, you know, as you know, you're supposed to. As I explained, you're supposed to hit him right before he hits you and I actually did it recently. Um, but I'm still getting... Actually, if you do have voice punches, you know, he... What happens is he ends up, you know... You can hit him, like, once, but... Outside of hitting him once, it doesn't usually... Winning doesn't exactly happen. Uh, not exactly a good thing. But you do get a star out of it, as you can see. Uh, you know, from hitting him, you know, by countering him at a kind of weird... And I should follow my own advice and only hit him when, with the star punch, when he's stunned, because things turned out disastrously for me when that didn't happen to me. For me. Mac, it's time to send this joker packing. Hit him so hard, he'll see rainbows. Um, as insane as he is here, uh, it's not quite as bad as, well, let's just say later in the game, something happens that makes this a little bit, makes him a little bit slightly less good. <laughs> uh, anyone who's familiar with this game knows what I'm talking about. You know, you're, we're in an exclusive club, you and I, viewer who knows what I'm talking about. Um, cause, and if you're not, you're going to be dumbfounded when it does happen. I mean, if you are if you are familiar with the game and know how to get through it, um, you're probably just watching this video because you like my commentary. Um, which means you need to get, you know, you need to see a therapist if you like my commentary, but... I appreciate the gesture. It's all a joke. I was joking. I was joking. Don't actually put down the phone book. Because people don't use phone books anymore. <laughs> you know. I don't see how I launched him, you know, to the ropes. And get and how he got tang instantly tangled on them. I would think that, um, <laughs> I would think that I, he would have just fall, fell down. I, I, I think that he would have fell down. Yeah, that's what I'm grammatically looking for. Eh, no. Pointing. <laughs> so we get slight, 
Well, actually, no, we do get substantially more sane with the next opponent. But then we take another step back into crazy with the one after. But Soda Popinski. Um, I have no idea how a soda bottle can be used to scratch your the back of your head, but you know what? I guess Soda Popinski can make it work. Um, I don't know if he got more or less threatening in this game than in Punch Out on the NES. Or he used to be called Vodka Drunkensky in the arcade one. Uh, that one he wasn't very... He didn't really look that threatening, but... Um... Uh, here they seem to go with the idea that he's drinking pop. Uh, soda pop. I guess, not to offend people who use either term. You can't duck to avoid his, um to avoid his uppercuts, and you can't dodge to the left to avoid his, sort of, regular punches. At least not all of them, later on. He'll, uh, for a while, he goes through a pattern of throwing two regular punches and throwing two uppercuts. But then, later on, he ab abandons that pattern. <sighs> Which can get really annoying, since he can get pretty unpredictable. Um... Um, the, as I said, like, uh, this is kind of where the game starts to get pretty frustrating. <laughs> well, not, not so, uh, Don Flamenco's when it started, now it's getting pretty deep, uh, with Aaron Ryan and then Soap Popinski's a bit more so. And when he steps to the left or the right, you either have to duck or dodge in the opposite direction to get... You know, to avoid it. If not, you get hit with it. Also, whenever he gets, as you can see, when he gets knocked down, or whenever you punch the soda out of his hand, or whenever you hit him with a star punch, he'll get pretty steamed, and he'll throw. Uh, he'll thankfully throw us a nice, predictable series of uppercuts. Um, wow! I didn't even need to. I didn't even need to use a star punch. Um. This can get actually, I, I must admit, this is probably one of the funner fights of the game. Uh, in, the, in, in the NES version, once he stopped, you know, murdering me every time, it was actually a pretty fun fight, I must admit. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Like, once he got out of the frustrate, once he stops frustrating you, he gets really entertaining as a fight. Um, for some reason, I just got reminded there that Doc Lewis used to apparently be, like, the champion of the... Like, the, uh, this World Circuit is the last one in the game, so... In Contender. Um, we are contending to be the champion, and we're getting there. We're working on it. Ball Bull, we take another step... Uh, Ball Bull takes another step towards crazy. <laughs> um, you'll see. His face was, like steaming red and he's not exact you know hitting yourself on hitting your head on like that uh, pull thingy isn't exactly not painful and as you I'll, um, I'm, I'm demonstrating how to get a star on this guy when he fusses about with his hands I think that's the only attack that he does where you can actually get a star also when you punch him in the stomach you'll end the combo but, it does, uh, uh, more damage, so, you know, use that when applicable. Applicable, applicable, don't know if people pronounce it differently or not. When he fusses about with his hands, when he raises his head, that's when he's about to punch, so be sure to take note of that. So just because he's fussing about with his hands, don't inst don't instantly dodge, unless he raises his head. Um... So, last night, I had this really weird dream. Uh, Jared from Hard News from Screw Attack. Oh, when you, uh, when he runs at you, uh, make sure you punch him in the stomach when he gets right in front of you. Uh, when he's no, when his nose emits steam, 
which, you know, <laughs> I have no idea how he, how he manages to do that, but when, he, when his nose does that, that's when he's about to charge at you. Um, as you can see, I'm just punching him up in the stomach. Um, well, not not just in the stomach. I punched him in the face. I'm told that uh, what he was doing, like as you can see, he was pretty much he was giving a lot of abuse to his face by hitting it up and down on that pull there. So he's trying to train his face to become you know stronger, but he left his stomach more open. So. <laughs> But now that he is a beaten, now that he is in the dust, a beaten opponent of ours, well, he is a beaten opponent because he lost ever in the past. <laughs> he doesn't have a flawless record. Our next opponent has a almost flawless record, except for one, I think, if I remember correctly. Super Macho Man. I sometimes he it, seen it uh, spaced differently as, like, in the Super Punch-Out on the Super Nintendo, it had Super and then a space, and had Macho Man as one word. But I've never seen <laughs> one word. Is... Plus, it's not a, this, his name isn't exactly not generic. Um, what to say about this guy? Um, kind of the Hollywood, uh, uh, L.A. Oh, both kind of same thing, but stereotype of California, basically, since he has kind of a surfer dude kind of talking way. I mean, all these opponents are kind of stereotype, except for, I guess, you know, the champion who's not really... I mean, I guess I've made a spoiler there. Um... When he, uh, gets, when he, like, stands still for a second, that means he's about to do, like, a spin attack, and you have to duck that. That's the only way you can avoid that. And that, uh, it takes off, it, it almost kills you in one, I mean, it gets you, uh, almost knocked down in one hit. Well, actually, I should say that it takes a lot of health off you, but in the past, it knocks you down with one hit, like in past games. And actually... Um, there's a variant of that in this fight where it does actually get you knocked down in one hit. I know that if you actually punt, there's a certain variant where he'll step back, shout "Super Macho Man," and then he'll for three three times, um, he'll actually do um, three of those spin punches. I think it's called the Macho Spin or something. In past games, it would actually be a random number. He's about to do it now. Uh, it would be a random number of uh, spin attacks. Oh, yikes. Well, it didn't knock me down on one hit, so I guess it was wrong there. In the past, it'd be uh, just a random... When he attacked, like, with a bunch of... A large number of spins, it would be a random number, which would be really sucky because then I wouldn't always, you know hit him afterwards, since I, I was expecting to him to do more, but if I stay there for a split second about to punch him, you know, I, 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 I'm in danger of, you know, him doing an extra spin. So in this game, it's not as bad. And I'm really bad at explaining things, so you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, but we're about to face the champion. That's right, he is... Mr. Sandman. He was the champion of the very first game uh, of Punch Out on the arcade. And here he is. He's from Philadelphia, and he's not. I don't really know any Philadelphia stereotypes that wouldn't apply to, I guess, the rest of the U.S. Um, I have to cut the video here. Don't know what to say now, but uh, let's take on this guy, Mr. Sandman. Yeah. Title bout. <clears throat> Un title bout. That's kind of an understatement. 
He is the champion of the... He's cha not champion, but champion of the world circuit. And... Um, we get a montage of him knocking out every other opponent. Being, I think he's the only loss Miss, uh, Super Macho Man had. <laughs> As you can see, his gimmick is that he puts opponents to sleep with dust. He's cheat. No, yeah, he cheats. He just uses like that magic dust. I, I don't know if the Sandman actually does that. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really remember much about Sandman. Like. As you can see, he some some of his attacks bank on you dodging early, as you previously saw. Um, I should probably stop getting hit by him and start, you know, um, actually, you know, dodging his punches instead of trying to get a star constantly. Um, looks like he's the first opponent to actually knock me down. Um. And pretty early, in fact. Um, as you can tell, you know, I'm. Uh, I think you. I think. I hope I'm showing you when to do punches to get stars. When he. Uh, when he shouts Dreamland, he's about to do... He does something called the Dreamland Express, which, which is that, you know, three uppercut combo. It's pretty easy to dodge. It's not particularly... You don't have to time it very much. Or very well, I mean. This, I, I guess I was trying to say there is not much strategy. In that one, you know. Oh yeah, and as you can probably tell, when you stun him, uh, you can't punch him in the you can you punch him in the face, then punch him in the stomach only. You can't do anything else. Ooh, he's knocked me down twice in one round. That is not good. Oh, and if you noticed, uh, I'm waiting until I'm not, I'm not pressing the buttons until no, uh, he counts to five, and then I get up. With that, that usually lets me get up at uh, nine, which means that I. When I get up at nine, that means, uh, like like what like once I return to the fight at nine, I get most, I get a lot of health back more so than if I get up at say. I think I get more health. Uh, I should probably stop taking so many risks with the, with the punching here. Because I, I'm taking a lot of risk with the star punches, like like punching him right before he attacks me to get a star punch, because I have to be pretty accurate with that timing. So I'm just gonna try to beat him the normal way. Considering that uh, throughout the course of the entire fight and in the course of throughout the course of all three rounds, if I get knocked down any more than uh. If I get knocked down a third time, I actually get knocked out. There's only one way you can actually prevent it from happening. If you mash, like, the one and two buttons, right, like, during the animation where you're getting knocked down, there's a chance you'll actually, uh, not be knocked out. You'll actually get back up. Or, sorry, you'll, you'll just almost prevent yourself from, uh, getting hit. And right... Earlier when I called this uh, fairly easy move to avoid his Dreamland Express, that's when I <laughs> don't avoid one. And I'm comboing him, I was comboing him pretty hard there. Um, at the time of the making of this video, he is out. And at the time of you're watching this video, well... Technically, I would have knocked out all these opponents uh, pretty uh, earlier than when... And you're just seeing it now, but... Like, what I'm saying is the actual... Hap like, the actual me actually knocking them out in real time, it happens much earlier than when you could ever possibly hope to see it happening. Because I know you're so... You're, you're so... You're all gonna be probably obsessed with doing, with with seeing it the very moment it happens. 
I honestly don't know how to uh, get this, you know. There's apparently, it looks like there's some kind of mini game here, but I don't really know how it works. As you can see, they put the names of some of the fighters in this. Like, see, there's Soda Popinski in, uh, in the credits here. Considering these are all probably stage names, I don't see why they wouldn't have used their real names instead. If these fictional characters had actually worked on the game. I repeat, if these fictional characters actually worked on that game. And I'm hitting my Wii Remote on my leg as I say that, and you can't see it. <sighs> the video's coming to a close. Final thoughts of this area. Really fun game. As you can tell, to sum up, you have to concentrate on avoiding... On, you have to concentrate on the cues the opponent makes and then avoiding their punches generally and then landing your combo generally. I mean, as you could see, there's a few exceptions. So just when you're trying to get a star punch or with Aaron Ryan are the two big ones. And I guess Don Flamenco, you have to hit him to get him. Because if you couldn't tell, uh, most of the time, uh, th they're not... the opponent. The opponents aren't actually vulnerable all the time. Um, uh, most of the time, if you punch them, they'll block. So it's those specific times you have to punch them. To either get a star or, you know, to get them stunned so you can combo them. Punch for punch, Glass Joe's actually technically stronger than Little Mac. So... It's pretty awesome that Lamax is able to do this. I think. Um, he has become the champion now. And that means... You know what that means? That means there's no more challenges left, right? That means... <laughs> that means nothing is going to come after this, right? I bet this is just... Just exhibition, you know. All, all the, After this, all I have to do is just re-fight the opponents. But, you know, do certain challenges. That's all that's going to be left. There's nothing after this, guys. Nothing. No extra challenges. Other than the one I just mentioned. After this. Right? Yeah, you're, you're not gonna... You're not gonna see it. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing that's gonna happen after this. And I guess... It seems that you... I hope... What was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know if you guys are exactly going to be t able to tell or not I was being sarcastic there. Because I'm certainly not going to tell you. But then again, if you're familiar with this game, yeah. if you're not familiar with this game, then you probably had trouble telling whether or not I was being sarcastic. I'm certainly not going to tell you. Alright, to so click up rights of game, scenario, music, and program reserved by Nintendo. I apparently got a total score of zero. What's happening, guys? The, the, the music's not ending. I think there's some, like, dramatic music. What? A new challenge awaits. Being world champion brings along the responsibility of upholding your title. Defend your belt against all challenges and become the greatest of all time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I actually was being sarcastic, folks. Plot twist. But, yeah, that will be tackled. That challenge will be tackled. Well... Uh, actually, I don't think we're, you're allowed to tackle in... I mean, I'm not allowed to tackle these people in boxing, but yeah, that challenge will be met. I guess I'll say that challenge will be punched in the next episode. Uh, take care. Um, don't let the door hit you on the way out of this video. Don't let the um, ad advertisement get clicked on right before you press the whatever link you're pressing. And goodbye.